Hi everyone, Canada has been one of the preferred destinations for a lot of people to migrate to or right, via different routes. In this video, I'll be sharing one of this pathway that has just opened up. So, if this is the content you would like to watch, then keep watching. This scholarship is open to all. It's a fully funded master's or second entry professional undergraduate in Canada. It covers your tuition fees for the normal duration of your master's or professional undergraduate program. You're going to be having a living stipend of about 2000 dollars per month during the academic term you're also going to be having a one-time relocation grant for moving to canada scholars who are not pursuing an academic term during the summer may apply for up to five thousand dollars to pursue a meaningful summer experience so they'll like to meet you if you have exceptional character community engagement leadership potential entrepreneurial spirit and you have academic strength and intellectual curiosity. So what are some of the programs that you can apply to for the scholarship? You have masters in art, masters in architecture, masters in arts, teaching and learning, masters in business administration, masters in education, masters in engineering, masters in information studies, masters in music, masters in public policy, Masters in Science, Masters in Physical Therapy, Masters in Social Work, Masters in Urban Planning, Masters in Law, Masters in Sacred Theology. For the professional undergraduate degree program for people that are interested, you can apply to Bachelors in Law, Bachelors in Dentistry, and Bachelors in Medicine. For you to submit an application, you need to create an account in the admission portals and start your application by uploading all documents as required. What are the eligibility criteria? You will need to meet one of the following criteria. You're currently a student on track to end your first bachelor's degree by August 2025, or you end your first bachelor's degree in the last five years that is stated January 2019 or later. You earned your first bachelor's degree more than five years ago, and you are 30 years of age or younger in 20. 24 admission. You will also need to meet the minimum degree and language requirement for MacGill Master's program admission. Before you put in your application to MacGill MacBain Scholarship, you need to make sure that your program is part of the ones that are stated on the website. You also need to verify submission deadlines and establish a working timeline for your application. You also need to familiarize yourself with your admission requirements. What are the documents you need to submit? What is the English language test required of you to submit? And then if you're also going to be exempted from submitting an English language proficiency certification. You also need to contact your department and identify your potential supervisors for master's thesis. Start up your application. You need to click on this button here, apply now. It says Marco Magbane Scholarship Application. This is the page you're gonna be seeing once you click on that and you need to create an account. Okay, so for first timers, you click on create account. So you need to create your email. You need to put in your first name, your last name, and your birth date. Then you continue with the process. Take a look at the deadline for anyone in Canada or USA is September 25, 2024, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And students are graduates of universities located in other countries that is outside Canada. The deadline for application is August 21, 2024, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember what this scholarship covers. Also remember the programs that are involved. You need to check if your program is part of the ones mentioned here on the master's program or under the professional undergraduate degree. Start putting in your application. Like this video, share with your family and friends, subscribe if you're new here, and turn on your post notification to be the first to know when I upload useful content with regards to your application or your immigration journey. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.